Promise. Okay. All right. Stand up nice and tall. Take a deep breath up and in. And exhale, press it down. Let me move this camera up. Inhale up. And exhale down. One more time. Big breath up. Exhale all the way down. Roll your shoulders back and forward. And march it out. Nice and strong, tight to your core. Lifting your head up high and take it out wide. Bring it back in and take it out wide. One more time, bring it back in and take it out wide. Hold it here. Let's tap it side to side and reach across. Four, three, two, and one. Heels front, both arms push. Flex your foot. Flex it up there. Pull your toes up tall. You want to stretch through your calves. Four, three, two more. And one, tap to the side. Arms go up, 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 up. Abs strong. That's it. Four more. Three more. Two more. One, back to our march. Good, that's good. Take your march out wide, bring your arms up out wide. And then bring everything down and in. All right, hands are on your hips. Sit into like a mini squat. So it's just a hips back, just like a mini seat. We're gonna step over a one and two. Take your right leg tap back, left leg tap back. Now we're gonna go back, we're staying low. One, two, left leg tap, right leg tap. Come on back, one, two, right leg tap, left leg tap, last time, sneak it back. One, two, left leg tap, right leg tap. Let's just hold these tap backs, tap back. I want you to take the arms, same arm that goes back, reaches and down, reaches, and down, nice and slow. Give it a stretch. Reach and reach. Four, three, two, and one. Back to your march. Shake it out. Let's bring those hands back behind you. Lift them up. Chest is open. And bring them in front, reach it, shoulders low. And drop it down, shake it out, shake it out. Nice job. All right, we're going to run through our um, first warm-up circuit. Well, it's a real circuit, but the first time through, we're not going to use any weight at all. So that's going to kind of continue our warm-up. And then the second and third time through, we'll add some weights to it so it will be a little bit more strength. So the first thing we're gonna do is do a wide squat. Want your feet out wide, toes out wide. <sighs> sit your hips back and sit up and press up. Sit them back and come up. We're gonna sit back and then push the, your foot, come all the way up. Press your feet down into the floor. Now in the second and third rounds, if you wanna add weights, you can keep them right back here. You can also keep them up on your shoulders or you don't have to add any weight at all. Let's do three more, push it up. Two more, push it up. One more time and push it up. Come on up, shake it out. All right, coming to the one side of your chair. So it's there if you wanna put your fingertip onto it. I'm gonna start with my left arm and my left leg. I'm gonna come knee up and curl it. 
and then press my arm overhead, come down and down. I'm gonna do that again, come up and push, working on our balance. Now an option would just be to come to your toe, still a balance move since you don't have both feet completely on the floor. And take it in. You don't even have to pull it up high, right? As long as it's just weight out of that side. Next time through, if you want to add a weight, we're going to keep it in that arm. Remember when you balance and you start moving your body around, really works those stability muscles. Two more, especially if you have a weight in there. And one more. Push and down. Let's come to the other side if you're using your chair. Now your right hand and your right leg are gonna move. Curl and press, right? Balancing, even if you've got a finger there, it's still working your balance. Your option is to come on your, just on your toes. Can you see that? Lift, push. That's it, working those stability muscles tight. That's it, we've got two more here. One, and one more time. You got it. Woo, take it down, shake it out. All right, one last exercise we're gonna do is a side bend. I want you to take your right fingertips behind your ear and then reach to the side and come up. Like I said, this first time through, we're using no weight, just continuing our warm up, getting our body really ready to work. Next round, you may grab a weight in this left hand. Two more. One more, and come up, take it down. Other side, now your left hand is behind your ear, right to the side, and we're gonna lean over and pick it up. Lean over and pick it up. These are the muscles that when we lose our balance, help bring us back to safety. Four more, three, two more, and one. Good job, come on up. All right, so we've been through those exercises. There's three of them, squats, the single leg curl and press, and the side bends. This time we're gonna weight them. Grab two weights for squats if you're using them. Again, we don't have to use weights for anything, but if you'd like to, I would put one weight in each hand and I would go ahead and pop them right down behind my hips. Weight, wide stance, toes a little bit wider than my heels, roll my shoulders back, stand up tall, three more seconds, two more, and go. Sit and press. So the first thing we're doing is 10 weighted squats. Last round we did them unweighted. Push through your feet. I need three more, two more, and one more time. Whew. Come up, walk it in, put one weight down. I'm gonna start with the left side. Now, when we move that weight around, it really is gonna challenge our balance. You might wanna get somewhere where you can touch a chair, touch the wall, something that you can help with your balance. We're gonna ground all the way in through our right side. Shoulders roll down and back. Heads nice and tall, abs are tight. Here we go, curl it up and push. Take it down and down. Curl it and press it down nice job lift push down and down up Whew. Down, down, down. 
Remember your option of just picking up your toe, your heel, leaving your toe on the floor. So good, so strong. Let's go three more times. Push it up there, abs are tight. Two more times, push it up there. Last one, push it up and take it down. Whew. All right, so the leg that you stood on, all those supporting muscles, I can really feel that in my calf. I'm gonna push my chair off to the other side in case I need it. Moving my weight here to my right hand now. All that weight's grounding in through the left, knee is stopped soft, shoulders are back, and go. Curl and press. Take it down. Curl and press. Fingertips by your chair if you need it. Up and push. Remember the option of just your toe. So good. Whew. Beautiful. All right, let's do two more. And one more. Whew. Take it down, shake it out. Ah, great job. Let's roll those ankles a little bit, circle them up. And move your weight back to your left hand. We're gonna stand about hip distance, shoulder distance apart. Take your shoulders, roll them back and down. Maybe your right fingertips are behind your ear. Straight to the side and lift. To the side and lift. Three more times, use those obliques, pull yourself back up. We're not bending that elbow at all, it's just hanging there. One more time, and come on up. Hips go side to side, maybe rotate your chest side to side, and then switch it so that your right hand is now holding your weight. Fingertips back behind your ear, and lean down and up. Nice work. Three more. Two. And one. Whew. Come on up. Put your weight down. Maybe grab a drink. Shake everything out a little bit. We're going to do that same circuit one more time. Squats, single leg curl to press, and the side, weighted side bends. Whew. All right, we're gonna go with squats first. Remember the weights are optional. If you wanna grab weights for these squats, I would take two of them, either up on your shoulders or right back behind your hips. Stance is a little bit wider, toes are slightly turned out, shoulders are back. Now long neck, head up as high as it can go. Three, two, and go. Sit, push through your heels. Sit and push through your heels. Whew. I 
need two more squats. Push it up one more time. Up. I love it. Now, one weight goes down. We're going to get all our stability from this right side. Make sure your foot's in the floor nice and strong. Knee is soft. Shoulders are back and down. Left leg and arm curl up. Push down and down. Again, curl, push down and down. That's it, those stability, stabilizing muscles, working in your lower leg, your knee, your hip. Whew. You have the option just to lift your toe and heels. Two more times, curl and press. One more time, curl and press, and down, I love it. Roll your ankle that you stood on, shake it out, and we'll slide it over to the other side. Left leg is in the floor, knees nice and soft, shoulders are back, standing up tall. We're going on the right side now, curl and press right? Holding on it barely. You want to touch that chair as much as you have to, but as little as possible. So you don't want to lean into it, right? We're standing up tall. And down. Whew. So good. Push it up there. Two more times. Up and up. Down and down. Last one. Up and up. Down and down. Woo! Ankle around. Nice job. Slide that weight back over onto your left side. Shoulders back. Fingertips behind your ear. Let's take it down and up, down and up. Six, four more, three, two, and one other side shake it out shoulders are back and down right side hanging down with that weight no bending the elbow it just hangs and let's go down and bring it up Three more times, weighted side bend, two more, and one last time, reach it down, bring it up, so great. All right, weights come down. We're gonna grab some water. And we're moving on to circuit two. So circuit two, how we're gonna run that, is we're going to do all right-sided exercise. We're going to do a pendulum lunge, which is a forward lunge, weight comes here, and then a backward lunge, weight stays here. So think about weight always being in front. It's in front, it's in front. 
We're gonna do a pendulum lunge six times with the right leg. Then we're gonna hold that lunge back and do six single arm rows, like we're starting the mower. And then we're gonna come up and do six lateral raises. Now, if you have different size weights, you may switch them out if you want for different things. You can pull heavier than you can lift out to the side. We're gonna do six of those. And then we're gonna do six knee up, squeeze back really emphasizing that squeeze back. Then we're gonna do on the other side, knee up, squeeze back. We're gonna go backwards. We're gonna do lateral raises. We're gonna do rows, and then we're gonna do our pendulum lunges. So right side on the way down, back up on the left side. Chair may be there for some support, maybe on your pendulum lunges. I want you to pick up one weight. Let's use one weight for this, um, whole set, right? Yes, one weight. We're going to put that weight, ah, I said this, in your right hand, right? Cheers off to the left. We're going to start with the right side. Starting with the right side, here's your chair if you want to touch it. Right leg lunges forward, come in the center, and then right leg lunges back but the weight stays in front. Right leg, weight goes here. Right leg back, but weight's in the other side. Right? Three. Ah, and three. Body weight. Ah, two more. One more, and six. Nice job. Now that right side, left leg goes back. You can either put your hand on your chair or on your thigh, but we're gonna reach the right arm out, pull your shoulder back, and row. Pull, and down. Pull, and down. Four, three, two, one, stand up tall, bend your elbow at 90 degrees. Here's where you can drop to a smaller weight if you want. We're gonna press straight out with your forearm and down. Straight out and down, really tall. Out and down. Two more. And one more. Drop it down. So that weight's in your hand. It's just going to stay there. Fingertip might be on a chair. We're going to lift our right knee up. Squeeze back. It's barely coming in front, but we're squeezing and holding. Come on up. Squeeze and hold. Lift. Squeeze and hold. Here's the last one. Hold it up here for six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Shake it out. Whew. And move your weight over to your left hand. You can move the chair if you want, or if you've got something to touch on the other side. We're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do a reverse order. So just let that weight hang. We're going to take our left leg, knee up squeeze back just a little bit in front and really squeeze it back that's it squeeze two more squeeze last one we're gonna hold it up pulse it six five four three two one down shake it out now, bend that arm at 90 degrees. Shoulders pull away from your ears. Press it outside for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now take your left leg back just a little bit. Hands on the other one, reach down. Pull your shoulder back and row. Six, five. Elbow goes straight back. Pull that lawnmower. Three, two, 
one. Now the last one is that lunge forward, lunge back. Weight is in your left hand, we're moving the left leg. I want you to lunge forward, body weight's forward. Come center, lunge back, body weight stays in that front leg, right? Two, push back. Two, pull forward. Three, push. Body weight's here. Pull forward. Four, push. Whew. And one more pendulum lunge. And bring it up. Let's rest it out between sets. We're going to do that same thing again. Down on the right, back up on the left. Now, when we get to our pendulum lunges, here's a couple of different options. You know you want your body weight forward, right? You know you want it forward. You can completely come down here in the center. Get your bearings before you go back. Completely come here. Or you can barely touch in the center, trying to keep some balance and back. So... You, uh, you can choose on that one. Whew. All right, grab a drink, get ready for round two. Starting with your weight in your right hand. Pendulum lunges with that right leg. We're going forward and back. It's up to you whether or not you're going to completely stay, get in the center with both your feet down or whether you're gonna keep a heel up. And go, right leg forward, right leg back, but weight stays in front. Weight goes in front, weight goes in front. So on this forward lunge, we're working our right leg. On this rear lunge, we're working the left. One more, forward and back. And come on up, good job. Take the right leg back just a little bit. Hands on your left leg, reach forward, but shoulder comes back first, stays there, and row. Row. Hands are tight, four. Two more, one more. Come on up, bend your elbow 90 degrees. Let's press out to the side, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now comes that mini knee lift, but big glute squeeze back. Really squeeze when you get back there. So your right leg, mini knee lift, squeeze back. Mini lift, squeeze back. Lift, squeeze. Only two more. And this last one, I want you to hold back and pull six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job, shake it out and then we switch sides. We're gonna start from the bottom and go back up. So we start with that mini knee lift to glute squeeze, really squeezing your glute. Left hand holds the weight, left knee comes a little bit forward and then squeeze back. Bring it up, squeeze. That's it. Last one, hold it up and pulse six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it down, shake it out. Whew. Left hand, 90 degree bend, shoulders square to the floor, press it outside and down. And down. Four, three, two, and one. Now bring your left foot back a little, hands on your right leg, reach it down, 
pull your shoulder back, and then row six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come up. Left leg pendulum lunge. Left leg steps forward, push back. Left leg steps backwards, pull forward. Forward and back. Step, push, and reach, pull. You got it. Work in the front leg. Work in the front leg. One more pendulum forward. Pendulum back. And put your weights down. Great job. Great job. You know, we've got one more round left of those things. Six reps each. Down the right, back up on the left. Still working with one weight. We're going to start with our weight in our right hand again. We're going to do our pendulum lunges right. Remember that place in the middle. Come to the middle, maybe tap a toe down, maybe tap your whole foot down. Get your control before you go back. All right, right hand holds the weight, shoulders down and back. Let's step the right leg forward, up, and back. Pull forward and back. You got it. One more pendulum lunge on this right side. And up. Right leg goes back just a little. Left hand on your left thigh. Reach the right arm out, but pull the elbow or the shoulder back and row. Row. Two more. One more. Six. And come up. Bending it at 90 degrees. We're going to push out with our forearm. Knees soft, press out and down, out and down. Six. Last one, that was it, six, that was it, good job. All right, we got our knee up, little knee up to big glute squeeze back, abs strong, right leg, squeeze back. Squeeze back. Squeeze. Two more times. Here's the last one. We hold it back there. Pulse at six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Great job. All right, sliding that weight over to your left hand. We're going to do the left leg. Mini knee lift, and then big squeeze back. Knee up, squeeze back. That's it. Oh, I did an extra one. Hold this one back, pulse it, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Now bend your elbow, shoulders low, press it out and down. Out and down. <clears throat> one more time. Six. Nice job. Left leg goes back just a little. Right hand on your thigh. Reach the left arm down, but not the shoulder. 
and pull. Two more, last one, come on up, left leg, pendulum lunges, pendulum lunges, and then we're done with this circuit. Left leg steps forward to lunge, left leg steps back in a lunge. Work in the left leg, work in the right leg. Body weight forward, body weight forward, just like that. Woo. Two more pendulum lunges. One more pendulum lunge. Woo. And push your weight down. Great job. Shake it out. Take a deep breath. Exhale. One more time. And exhale, Whew, shake your legs. Let's roll our wrists around. Wiggle your fingers, shake them all out. Let's open our hands up, big starfish hands. And to make a fist, keep your thumbs on the outside, squeeze your fist tight as you can and rotate your wrists. And then now your elbows still squeezing your fists and your shoulders and let go shake it out wiggle them up take a big breath and exhale that's good shake it out all right we're gonna come down to the floor finish it up down on the floor bring a weight with you we're gonna start sitting up with our weight next to us. We're gonna use it for this first exercise. Feet are on the floor, right in front of you, sitting up tall. All right, can you see me? Kind of. We're gonna just roll back and come back up. Roll back, come back up. Again, roll back and come back up. One more time, roll back and come up. Now we're gonna do that same thing, but what I want you to do is take one arm, roll back, reach it out there, look at it, rotate your chest, and then come back up nice and tall in the center. Then the other arm, roll back and look over at it and come up. Roll back and look and come up. Roll back and look and come up one more each way bring it up and the other side bring it up and reach down towards your toes rounding your back let's just drop our head and come all the way up let's lay down on the floor and pick up your one weight we're gonna hold that weight end to end right over our chest. Now, no, not over our face. It's just down a few inches right up over our chest. I want you to take your right leg, kick it out just above the floor, and then bring it back. Left leg, kick it out, and bring it back. Right leg, and left. All right, so we're gonna add the arms in. Take your arms, reach them back behind your head while you kick the right leg out. Bring it in. And then left. Kick it out. And in. Kick it out. And in. You got it. Four. Three. Two. And one, nice job. Take that weight, bend your elbows, place the elbows on the floor. You're still holding your weight above your ribs. Take a couple of breaths in here. And exhale. Let's reach that weight right back over our chest again. 
Now we're gonna crunch up, pushing your weight up to the ceiling and back down. Crunch up and back down. Exhale and down. Four more. Three, two, and one. Woo. Take it down, place that weight off to the side. Just shake your hips side to side. Reaching your hands down to your hips, palms face in towards your midline, pinkies are on the floor. I want you to crunch it up, keep your pinkies down there on the floor. Now reach your hands to your knees. It's a little bit harder to hold because your arms are now in it. Reach your arms up to the ceiling. And now take them back behind you. Swoop them all the way around and come all the way back down to the floor. We're going to do that one more time. Crunch up, pinkies on the floor, staying down. Lift to your knees. Lift to the ceiling, and now hands back behind your head. Hold, 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 hold. Press it all the way around and take everything down to the floor. So good. All right, arms out to the side, palms are up. Drop your knees to the right, look left. Release through your back. Get that spinal twist. Pick your knees up in the center. We're going to drop them left and look right. Let's take our arm from the right, our head, and look to the left. Bring our arm to the left. Roll onto our left side completely and then push it up so that we can come up to a seated position. Maybe crossing your legs, whatever's comfortable for you. Shoulders roll back and down, head up as tall. We're going to take a big breath up and in. Drop your right hand to the floor and lean over to the right. Push your left hip down and reach that arm up and over. Come back center. Big breath up and in. Exhale, left hand down, press it and lean left. Right hip presses down, right arm reaches up and over. Come on up center, nice job. Turn your palms up, take a deep breath in. Rotate your palms out, exhale. And one more time, scoop it up, inhale big. And exhale all the way down. Fantastic job today. So good. Love it.